Hello everyone, my name is Keely. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. I am currently reading 10 books. I don't know how I got to this point, but I am here and so I'm hoping that by talking about these books, I will actually finish them. So we're going to talk about these books in the order that I started them in. So the longest ago to the most recently that I have started. And the first one I want to talk about is called We Jace You a Clary Christmas by Cassandra Clare. So if you can't tell from this title, it is set in the Shadowhunter world and it's actually very short. I believe it's like 62 pages. We were sent this years ago from Cassandra Clare's newsletter and so I downloaded it but the only way I can read it is on my phone and so that's why I haven't really picked it up is because I don't really read on my phone a lot. I don't enjoy reading on my phone so even though this is 62 pages I should have finished this in like one sitting years ago. I started reading this on July 9th 2022 so it's been over a year now but the only time I really sit down and read it is if I absolutely have no other book on me which I usually do and so I really just need to sit down pick up my phone and finish this one. I am actually 23% of the way through so I really don't have that much to read of it and it wouldn't take me that long but I just need that extra push because I hate reading on my phone. The next book I'm currently reading I started on November 7, 2022 and that is Madly Deeply. These are the diaries of Alan Rickman and they span decades of his life. So it is a pretty big book and it is nonfiction. so it's not that bad that I didn't sit down and finish this one through because I just pick it up here and there. I'm on page 90 of this so I'm at 19% of the way through and I am highlighting and annotating. However, this book is not as riveting as I was hoping it would be. I am loving hearing from Alan Rickman, but some parts are pretty boring. Alan Rickman is someone I grew up with. I love watching his movies. He is in a lot of my favorite movies of all time, so I definitely want to get through this, but it is going to take me quite some time just because I am going to pick it up here and there, not all at once. Next is a book I started on March 11th of this year, but it is a reread for me, so I have read it multiple times before, but this particular reread is just taking me longer because I am picking up here and there because it's a book that I've read so many times, and that is Mockingjay by Suzanne Collins. This is book three in the Hunger Games series, and I am annotating and highlighting this one, and so it is taking me more time because annotating does take a little bit more time as you're reading it through, but I am just taking my sweet time with this, but I also think it is taking me longer to to read Mockingjay this time around because it is my least favorite in the series because of PETA and what he goes through and I hate reading about that but I still do love this book but I will finish it at some point because I need to finish my annotations. Next is a book that I started reading on June 2nd and it is another nonfiction book so it is going to take me quite some time and that is The Real Vampires. This is a nonfiction book all about the lore and myth of vampires and some facts about real vampires as well but I'm literally only on page 20 and this is going to take me some time because the writing is not great, not my favorite so we will see if I do end up finishing this book at some point and I really do because vampires obviously. Next is a book that should have gone earlier on this list because I picked it up September 26, 2022, and that is BuzzFeed Unsolved. This is another nonfiction book all about Shane and Ryan and the adventures and hauntings and demons that they have seen throughout the years. I'm on page 20. This is on my bedside table, so I do pick it up every so often, but a lot of these stories or actually all of them were in videos that I've seen so it's not as interesting because I've already seen the adventures they've been on and I much prefer the video format but I do want to visit all of these places so this is actually a really good guidebook for my future travels. The next book I picked up on July 2nd of this year and that is Kingdom of Ash by Sarah J Maas. This is the seventh and final book in the Throne of Glass series and I'm only on page 52. I got motivation one day to pick this up and I am also vlogging it and then I quickly lost that motivation because I hate the series but I do really really want to finish it because I've been reading it for like almost 10 years now so this will get done. It is only a question of when will it get done. Next is a book I started on July 13th and that is Two Dark Reigns by Kendara Blake. This is the third book in the Three Dark Crowns series. There are four books and then a little short story collection. So I'm almost done with the series. I'm actually on page 79 of this. I picked it up one day because I do really want to continue the series and then I just put it down because I wasn't in the mood for fantasy. That's what's difficult about some of these books is that they are fantasy and since I'm not a fantasy reader I don't have a lot of motivation to read them but I really do like this series. The first book was so much fun. I enjoyed the second one a little less, but since I've loved the first one so much, I really do want to see what happens to these characters. 
Next is another fantasy book, and I started this one on July 20th, and that is Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros, and I am actually pretty far into this one. I'm on page 263, so I am halfway, and I just put this down because, once again, it's fantasy, and I'm not obsessed. I thought I was going to be obsessed because this is like a school setting with dragons and a deadly competition, and I love how much death there is in this, but I really am not connecting to the characters. I don't love them, so I don't really care about the relationship and what happens to them, but... I am planning on finishing it. I just don't know why that I'm not loving it because it has a lot that I should love. The next book I picked up on July 24th and that is Dance Macabre by Stephen King. This is yet another non-fiction book and so as you can see with a lot of these non-fiction books I'm just picking them up here and there so they are taking me some time to read. I'm on page 104 of this and this is Stephen King's take on the entire horror genre and just kind of an overview of what inspired him and the horror genre as a whole. It's really interesting but non-fiction is quite slow for me. And the last book that I am actually actively reading, so this hasn't been on my list for long because I started it yesterday and I will finish it soon, and that is Queen of Myth and Monsters by Scarlett St. Clair. This is book two in the King of Battle and Blood series. I love the first one so much. It is a vampire fantasy romance. Now I know I said I'm not into fantasy, but for some reason this first book just captured my heart and I loved the romance so, so much. So I will be finishing this one really soon. So those are all of the books that I'm currently reading. Obviously, some of them I haven't picked up in a while, but I do plan on finishing them, so they still are on my currently reading shelf on Goodreads. So if you have made it this far in the video, go ahead and leave the book stack emoji and tell me how many books you are currently reading. I would love to know, but that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, all my social media links will be down below, and I'll see you next time. Bye!